Hi guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today I'm in Simbi Nyaima uh, Lake uh, in Karachuonyo. This is my day two of my 30 days tour of Oma Bay County. Uh, the mystical uh, Simbi Nyaima Lake has these uh, flamingos you're seeing behind me. Uh, so I'm going to do a, a tour of this lake. Scientifically this lake started as a, as a earthquake and uh, volcanic activities. But then for ground we don't need to fauti. There are different stories about this lake from the locals. So my main agenda here is to interview the locals and to hear these stories, the different stories. So I hope you enjoy the video. Guys, the sounds you have been hearing on the background are uh, flamingos. Uh, this video is going to be mostly educational. I'm very excited about this video as this is my area of expertise. I studied birds in school. I did ornithology. In this video, I'm going to give you information on how to get to this lake, Simbinyaima. I'm going to give you information how the lake started. I'm also going to engage the locals and hear their stories, the legend. Uh, also in this video I'm going to try and give you information about the flamingos. In the world we have six types of flamingos but in Africa we have two types of flamingos. We get uh, the lesser flamingos and the greater flamingos. Uh, from this lake I can see we have more of the lesser flamingos. Uh, let's dive into the video and learn more. I hope you enjoy the video. Guys, let's do a quick uh, a rim drive around the lake and uh, then descend down to the flamingos. Lake Simbenyaima is a crater lake as you can see and it has a very nice road uh, on the rim around the lake meaning that you can drive, you can walk you can run, you can ride, you can do anything on the road around the lake. Also, they have a, a very nice market here. This is where you can like a restaurant here. And then uh, next to the restaurant, they have a, a very nice uh, market, a village market with a very scenic view when you're shopping or selling your stuff. Uh, let's enjoy the ride around the rim. <music> Lake Simbinyaima is close to Kindube town, two kilometers from Kindube town on your way to Oma Bay town. Lake Simbi is a tiny crater lake measuring about uh, one kilometer in radius. The depth is unknown. Legend has it that most of the researchers who have tried to measure the depth have disappeared mysteriously. The lesser flamingo is the smallest of the world's six flamingo species. Despite being the most numerous species of flamingo, it is classified as near threatened due to its declining population and the low number of breeding sites, some of which are threatened by human activities. In Africa, they breed in Lake Natron, Tanzania. It is good to see them trying to nest in Lake Simbinyaima. These are the nests of flamingos. During unbreeding periods, like now, the Rift Valley lakes and now Lake Simbi often hold the entire population estimated to be between 2 million and 4 million birds. Huge feeding flocks of about 1.5 million birds regularly gather on lakes Bogoria, Nakuru and Simbi, some of the world's most stunning spectacles. Let's now hear from the local guide. I'm better than Mundial 
one of the local targets of Lake Sibinyaima. Lake Sibinyaima, we do find in Mabe uh -huh. County, has got two sides of the story. We have got both mythical and geographical aspect of it. Mythically, uh -huh. simply said that before this water to be in this place, this one was once a village which was built on uphill. And the resident who residing over here were well known Kawasua people. The major cause of the accident of this lake came from a place called Gwesa Nyandiwa. Where by Gwesa Nyandiwa, we have got this gentleman called Nyamgondo Udombari. How the gentleman used to earn his daily bread, he was just a mere fisherman. One of this fine day, while they go fishing, he didn't find a fish. But according to our doctrine, if you miss a fish, you will leave the fishing material to the lake, then later around you go and confirm if at all you've been blessed. While Nyamgondo was walking, he went to confirm his net, what he caught was so much surprisingly. He caught a normal human being, which was a lady. And that's why he nicknamed the lady Anyango Nyarugwase, simply because she was caught at Gwase Nyandiwa during morning hours. Now they started seeing us husband and wife. Nyamgondo could be going fishing into the lake, and the return they were getting, they could be now buying this domestic animal. But because the was fishing the lake, it was the she was now the responsible person of taking this domestic, taking good care of the domestic animal. Now I'm going to be going to fish, and the return was getting the school by those domestic animal. But I'm going to was the person responsible for that one. One of these fine day, all right, the, the time this domestic animal was giving birth, they could be giving birth to twins. Now the old home, 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 homestead of Nyamgondo son of Umbare become full of domestic animals. Now Nyamgondo could be boasting that now I'm wealthy. And in the return, while he go to drinking then, he was boasting that he is wealthy, but those people also mo mocking him that what if they right now? Who will be responsible of taking good care of the domestic animal? Simply because Nyamgondo was barren. was barren. Nyamgondo could be coming from drinking then, abusing the wife that you just are creating one fish from the lake. There is nothing you are helping me with. But Anyango Nyaragwase persevere all these abuses until one day she said enough is enough. It's enough. It's better go where I came from. What was surprisingly, while Anyango Nyaragwase was heading back to the lake, all the domestic animals standing following her. Nyamgondo, while realizing now things are in a man, he wanted to go and have a dialogue with Anyango Nyaragwase, but all were in vain. Nyamgo the sand of Umbare turn into a tree, of which right now, if you go to Gwasinyandiwa, you will find a tree resembling a human being, and even the food spring of a domestic animal heading back to the lake. Now Nyamgo Anyango Nyargose took trees into the lake. Then she resurfaced in a place called a Bund water spring. It's approximately 70 kilometers in West Karachuan. What Anyango Nyargose was looking into, she was looking for a place where you could find an husband then he go back to the lake and bring her belonging. Now the long journey brought Anyango Nyagwase up to this village. Anyango Nyagwase approached this locality in the year 1715 during the month of August. During that month, those who residing over here were called Kawasua people. They were having kind of celebration simply because the bumper harvest they have received during that month. What they say they tried to chase her away simply because the dressing code of Anyango was not pleasing them. And with them, they also believe that what they have was enough with, or for them. Because Anyango Nyagwase had gone a long distance, she was feeling much thirsty. The first house she knocked onto and even request a glass of water. That mama, Alkona Dani Mei Bwana, Amyongeza Bibi. He told him that with me, he told her that with me, I don't have water. The second house, the second thing, implied to the second house. But in the third house, while she knocked and even request a glass of water, that mama did according to our doctrine. Instead of giving her water, he gave her a calabash of porridge. Then later on, give him water, give her water. Nyakonya Raguase, seeing that welcome cordiality, he told the he told the mama who was welcoming. 
Well, well, welcome her. That that is a good message I've brought to our people. But I will talk. I would like to talk with you if you are having your husband. Mama is telling her that my husband is over there drinking alcohol. But with us, we are not allowed to be part and parcel of that party. But will I insist? You know, Mama, lean like in a coffee cup and you say, "Well, I want a burrito." She called us one and told him that there is another visitor who was well, well, who, who is in your house, but wanted to talk with you. If I told you, you can have a time, just can't speak with her. We like to describe, but come be ah. I'm a little bit of a zim to the monarchy, pit up and the Akokonyo Bayang. Nanda will come to a cabeza before the Kokonyo Bang. Mama is coming, telling a young and a boss that I've told my husband, but she has refused. But patients never pay. Anyago Nyaragwase is setting the woman for the second time. Vile lekwa nenda kuita banake, vile banake le moana, the three-legged stool, alekwa na kalea, akapiga na yo, idia kena kambi sasa nenda kabisa, na umiruazi mu, nizupata kwenye bayangu. Mama is coming while bleeding and crying. Vile anyago Nyaragwase le moana, kama mbia sasa kama wengine udibie na mukupiga hivi. Sembu se mimi ni ndiyo sasa kile pata pata mio. But because of the sense of disappointment, the particular question in the air is what I'm receiving over here just because of water. I will now leave the resident with the water of which they will drink until the end of the world. But because of the way we are going to be in a dam, seeing a panda, we will be able to get out of the way. We will be able to get out of the way, and we will be able to get out of the way. We will be able to get out of the way. We will be able to get out of the way. We will be able to get out of the way. Hapechukuto tewake, wakanza kondoka hapa. Na wakia shere ilikuwa ngumu kama ile ya Lord in the Bible. Tutondoka hapa lakini muda siangalia nyuma, mpaka ni mbusu angalia nyuma. Wakanza kondoka hapa. Vinolekawa approximately 100 meters, dalili ya mvua, kinanza kondokana kwa hiki jiji. Wazeo nenda kuburudeka wanasema, mungu wa mitujalia tuipata mbudu mazuri, tena harakati tunasharekea, hametupea mvua. Awa kwa mejua, hiyo ndi mvua, hiyo taribu wapa. Vila lekawa approximately 3 km. Anyango nyarugwase, akambea huu mama na kutakwa wili, sasa pigia watu wenyu uguwa eri. Vila leangalea hapa chini nyuma, chenye waleona wili wa shangaza. Hapa kulikuwa na heavy downfall, with lightning, and thunderstone, and even earthquake. Until the old village, which was built on uphill, got sunk and that's where when the name was left Simbi Nyaima Simbi simply means the first houses we do build for the first sons in our vernacular we call them Simba lakini hapa sazi ilikuwa nyingi sazi naitua Simbi then Nyaima means the sunken village that's how this lake come to exist Mythically. Now geographically, this is just a crater lake formed as a result of volcanic eruption. Due to solidification of the magma, they will be forced to build upward, leaving a vent. And that vent will be filled up with surface water or rainwater, forming a lake. This one is a dead, a dead lake. There is, we don't have any fish in this lake, we don't have any living thing in this lake. Only what we have are these flamingos, but flamingos are not here permanently, they do come here seasonally. This flamingo, they do feed onto what we call an algae. As you have seen them, all of them, they are so much more. Now their main food is green algae. Flamingos don't breed here over here. At times they want to go and breed, they will head up to Lake Natron, of which in a particular pale, northern Tanzania. Up on this in a big pekeyaki. This is just a feeding zone of flamingos. Economic important of Lake Simbinyaima. This water, we don't use it for domestic purposes, but we will use it for medicinal purposes only. If you have something like foot diseases, rashes, 
dandruff hii ndio dawa inatibu if at all you have a maybe a dog which have this flu this water do cure that but there is what we call what we religion people they also have another different perspective watu kama lejo maria god last appeal na watu wa roho au na wako different perspective because with them they do believe that that mama was chased from this place was bikra maria au dai wakikuja hapa wanawacha kitao pale juu alafu anatumia maji kwa maombi sasa maombi yako inategemea na faith yako hivyo ndio inatusaidia na pia inaomba bay county idwa kas kisa kwa historical site zone is a historical site of which we, we have hopes that one day our government will fence it then we, it will earn for us revenue thank you so much Ninga Charles Duma followers Hai pigi na kutia. Ah pigi ni wote monade. Pigi Olu oh, kurugi pigindi be. Mm. Ah. Kadaka ingi kalanga. Kalanga. Kadaka ini kalanga kalanga maka nyanga ndene. Be matak to pini ikauti titi yoka kai. Kalanga enango. Ni mukuma mako de ngeji. Ah. Kadaka ingi guwani. Ah skin rashes. E kalanga. Mm. Kadaka ingi kuma wani na lachma nyalo changi. Ah. Eh ti yogi pini kai. Tu be umode. Overall, unspoiled, unexplored, unbelievable, Lake Simbi Nyaima is a dream destination for every explorer. The county government of Oma Bay is not making better efforts to tap the tourism potential of Simbi Nyaima. Please suggest other destinations I can visit during my stay in Oma Bay. If you enjoyed the video, please give the video a like. This is the only way of helping this channel. Uh, so these flamingos are seasonal in this lake. They migrate from Rift Valley lakes to, to this lake. And uh, they migrate from uh, Bogoria, uh, Elementaita, Lake Nakuru, uh, Lake Natron, uh, to Simbi Nyaima in Ohoma Bay. So this is a very spectacular sight to look at. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>